welcome to WCTV. I'm Aaliyah. And I'm Ronnie Peters. It's already been an entire month since we have started school. I can't believe it. In today's show, we have a fine arts update, comic review, a club highlight, and more. To start things off, let's go to Joseph for comic review. This week's comic review with... Georgia! So this week, I'm going to be talking about uh, DC's latest, like, crisis event, which is called Dark Knight's Death Metal. This event is about where the Batman Who Laughs, which is pretty much the Joker mixed with Batman. Now, he has taken over the world by manipulating Lex Luthor, Sinestro, Black Manta, and a bunch of other supervillains. Now, you would think with the name Dark Knight's Death Metal, it would be a batman a trip book where Batman is like the main hero, the knight in shining armor. But no, the only thing he does is make me question how the Black Lantern ring works. So he isn't the hero, but there are tons of like Batman allegory characters. So Wonder Woman is actually the main hero. She fights off the Batman who laughs. She also talks to like the gods of the universe and makes them stop what they're doing. But this also causes a problem within the timeline because after I think it was Final Crisis, or it was just called the New 52. The whole universe was reset, so like the Golden Age didn't happen, the Silver Age didn't happen, but at the end of the event, they made it so everything happened. New 52, Silver Age, Golden Age. In any like comic that came out, they all exist. But reminder, the characters are only like 35, 40. They're not that old, but they're also super old. The art in this is very good, but when you go into like the tie-ins, every different tie-in book has a different art style. So you can be reading the main event and then you will be reading the side event. They look completely different. Like there's one that I think had a like Looney Tunes art style, but then you have one that's trying to be like as realistic as possible. But have you been looking into a spot to like jump into comics, at least DC at this point? I think now is a good starting point. Thanks, Joseph. Next, let's see what Sir Kevin has been up to with the fine arts on campus. Good day, fine fellows, and welcome to the finest edition of Fine Arts. I am your host, Sir Kevin. Firstly, the band. The band is working hard on our marching competition showcase called It's Tough to Be a Bug. Last weekend, the band hosted a rummage sale and car show, with both the jazz ensemble and drumline participating in it. Theater is starting strong in their drama camp and are looking forward to October's competitions. And lastly, the orchestra. The orchestra is working hard on their upcoming competitions and are practicing for their dinner theater on September 25th. Currently, the mariachi band is preparing for their next big performance. They were invited to perform on a river barge during the Day of the Dead parade on October 29th. The mariachi band went to the UIL State Mariachi Festival in June and earned the sweepstake award which is the highest honor they could achieve. They also played for the Castle Hills Fiesta and the Ford Festival Parade. Later that summer, they also performed in the Arneson Theater on the Riverwalk. They also performed twice in the Texas Orchestra Director Association Convention. And that was all the fine arts we have for today. I hope to see you fine fellows next time. Sounds like a lot of fun. Let's catch up on sports with what we missed since our last episode with our sports anchors, Hayden and Aaron. This is a big week in sports here at WC. The Gucci Bowl is tonight at Hero Stadium. Kickoff is at 7, but the Thursday night pep rally starts at 5 p.m. Come get some free food and tailgate. The game is on TV if you can't make it, but please try and come to fill the stands. The Gucci Bowl is a long-standing tradition here at Churchill since 1984, so come out and be a part of the tradition. Our team has been playing hard, and here are the highlights from the last two games with Gibbs and Maldonado. Chargers went into Week 2 of football against Alamo Heights at Comalander Field. In the opening quarter, number 33, Cooper Kuntz, puts pressure on the Mules quarterback and forces an interception into the arms of number 14, Jacob Kubal, for a 13-yard interception return for a Charger touchdown. As the Chargers go ahead, 7-0. Then again, the Chargers defense comes up big with a second interception as the ball is tipped into number 33, 
Cooper Kuntz's hands for another Charger touchdown. Quarterback number 10, Merrick Manwaring, throws for a nice gain to number 3, Ryan Vigil, for a first down. The defense played very well with several sacks and good defensive stops against the Mules. Number 24, Casey Ellswick, and 96, Jaden May, made key defensive plays in the first half. Number 44, Blake Dorkin, recovered the fumble after a bad Alamo Heights snap. Quarterback scrambled for another first down late in the game as Churchill suffers its first loss of the year, 21-13. Last Friday night, Charger football played Madison at Hero Stadium. Our defense came up big again with some great plays and sacks. Number 23, Tremont Moore, runs here for a first down. Tremont had a fantastic night with over 215 rushing yards and one touchdown. Here are the rest of the highlights from the game. team is in district play and played Reagan last week. We tried desperately to get the video, but technical problems have left us empty-handed. But we love our volleyball team girls, and go watch them tomorrow as they take on Lee, and then next week go cheer them on as they take on MacArthur and Johnson. Cross-country teams have a big meet on Saturday, as well as tennis and golf. Okay. Uh, you going to Gucci tonight? Of course I'm going to the Gucci, but what about you? Of course, man. You gotta pack those stands. Uh, that's all for this week's sports, now back to you guys. Thanks guys. There are so many fun clubs to join here at Churchill. There are sure to be one that you'll love. Here are some clubs that you can join. If you are interested in Chargers for Christ, they will meet in room A102. Their meetings are to be determined. Some reasons why you should join Chargers for Christ is to have fun, fellowship, and do community projects. They are currently establishing details, so listen for announcements soon. If you are interested in the Drama Club, they will meet every second Tuesday of the month in the auditorium. Experience theater without the commitment of a class, have fun while playing theater games, learn skills that will help you in life, teamwork, public speaking, and improv. If you want to be a part of the Newspaper Club, they will be meeting Fridays at 8 a.m. in B208. Those who like to write, and those who are interested in what happens at WC and the community will be published in the newspaper. Faculty and staff may participate too. For the Mariachi Club, they will be meeting in the orchestra building. And why you should join the Mariachi Club is because you'll get to learn a new instrument. The Book Club. They will be meeting first Thursday of the month at 8.05 a.m. in the library. They are an inclusive group who love to read and chat about books or treats. They have informal discussions about what they are reading and offer suggestions about what to read in the future. The DECA Club. They meet first and third Thursdays of every month in room 902. Maximize your moment. DECA will prepare you to 1. Be career and college ready. 2. Be an impactful leader. And 3. Be a key part of our awesome epic team. We have many talented people here at Churchill. Jaden is here to talk about his band. What's up, Churchill? It's Jaden, but some of y'all may know me as Ill Jaden. I record music, make beats, and all that. But me and my group are having an upcoming show on the 24th, and I encourage y'all to go see me and my group. And one of my songs is also wrapping up to a million plays on Spotify, so I recommend y'all check that out. And if you're on campus and you do music here and you want a shout out, let us know and we got you. Thanks for 
That's so cool. Thanks, Jaden. Be sure to check them out, people. Now here's a sneak peek of the new segment coming to WCTV. I can't wait for you guys to see it and start watching out for that broom, Chargers. We also have Homecoming coming up. It's October 23rd and bids are $30 a single and $55 for couples. We also have the Homecoming themes for Spirit Week. Monday is Movie Monday, but no masks or capes. Tuesday is Tacky Taurus Tuesday. Wednesday is Decades Day. That means 20s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, anything you want. Thursday is Thursday Twin Day. And Friday is Homecoming Shirts with an additional theme of Greece. The country, not the movie musical with John Travolta. Don't forget that Gucci Ball is today. We are playing Clark at Hero Stadium. Come support the school as we watch the amazing football game. And if you have any segment ideas or have something you want to show the school, come to Miss Morris in room number 9100 before school to pitch your idea. Well, that's the end of our show. Thanks for tuning in to WCTV. I'm Aaliyah Bernal. And I'm Ronnie Peters. We'll see you next.